<laughs> and that's why you don't talk on camera and try to ride a bicycle. Alright guys, welcome back. CFP here and this is Survival Living. So today we have an unboxing. This is a VeloWave electric bike. This is a 500 watt electric bike, an e-bike. So we got contacted uh, a couple months back about this thing and we played around with it. I've been doing some research on it and I agreed to check it out. So that's exactly what we're going to do. You guys know me. When I do a review, I go all in and really do a review. So we're going to do an unboxing today. We're going to assemble it. We're going to charge it up. We're going to run some testing and our testing isn't just done in one day we do these things multiple days to see how everything works so i'm not going to waste your time we're going to go ahead and tear into this thing So, what we got up front, guys? We got instruction on how to set up your VeloWave e-bike. It's got a diagram. I like diagrams. It makes it so much easier than reading anything. But it actually has the assembly, installing handlebars, installing front wheels, axles, front wheel axles, pedals. It's got everything. So I'm actually gonna have to take a step back and read this. I know guys don't like reading instructions. Uh, I don't know anything about e-bikes, although I've seen them and I got a buddy that has one. I've never rode one, I've never put one together. So, since this thing is not a cheap product, on the market is it's priced fairly decent, a little over $1,300. I've seen some 6,000 and more. So, at 1,300 bucks, don't you wanna make sure you uh, fix it correctly? So guys, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing and uh, get it all put back together, or put it together. guys so I got the instructions back out all right so we're checking out the display here hold it down on the power button it'll turn on which I can see it and we got the voltage and everything else right there miles per hour so you got a headlight mode if your bike is installed with a headlight press the whole plus button for one second to switch on I don't have a headlight with this one I got a reflector on this one. All right, guys, I do apologize for the wind. I got the camera in my hand right now. So this is the general display right here. Uh, we got 49.3 volt. We got the main menu here, information menu, trip, odometer, time. You know, if you're trying to keep track of everything. And the power assist and everything's over here. We don't have the tires uh, filled up yet. When I go pump up the tires, and we're gonna give this thing a nice little test. Now, right fast. There's ways of charging this thing. One, you could take the battery out and charge it inside your home, or you got a charge port right here. I mistakenly called this a drain plug earlier. So you got your barrel plug, and it will go right into the battery, just like that. And of course, you plug into the wall. 
so that you could actually charge this thing the battery with it still in so that's actually pretty cool there now what I've got to do guys is I've got to pump up these tires and it's not that I'm talking bad about the reflectors guys I mean a reflector is just a reflector I just figured it'd be made of better material the bike in itself is freaking awesome they got I mean, they've done a lot of great work on this I just wish that they would have paid more attention to detail on the reflectors but hey no big deal the bike itself is actually pretty awesome I do need to fill up these tires though uh, because they did not come shipped full as you can see so I can't ride this thing without damaging the tire itself so we're gonna go take care of that I do like that they do have a suspension on the front end of this thing so they don't have one on the back so that should help out the front uh, it has the quick release axle on the front of this so you could always just take the tire off whenever you get to location let's say you're working whatever and you chain up your bike you take that tire off take it with you you don't have to worry about anybody cutting your chain and still in your bike this this bike here weighs about 47 pounds yeah so you know it's about the same weight of a good mountain bike but with the battery the battery is the big weight here but nice paint job and everything on this so let's go get the tires filled all right guys right fast see this little thing right here this lever whoa this thing is like a cruise control so this thing is a pedal assist but I found out by accident just on it because it's not in the instruction manual when you hold this thing down and you're going she takes off with you so here we go I gotta adjust that front front wheel on those brakes. You hear that squeak? Plus, I was also in the mud and everything. I didn't even pedal that. That is cool. I like that pedal assist on this thing. Um, and also the cruise control, not just pedal assist, an actual cruise control is freaking awesome. I mean, right now, I'm starting to pedal. No more pedaling. Dude, 
This thing's freaking awesome. I love it. First time I ever seen one of these things was on Canadian Prepper's channel. He had done one. So yeah, I could definitely see the use of this for a get home thing. Also after a grid down situation, you know, we talk about EMPs and things like that, guys. Uh, just get a Faraday defense uh, cloth and stuff like that, make your own Faraday cage, kind of like a tarp. Ah. And that's why you don't talk on camera and try to ride a bicycle when you're 43 years old and haven't rode a bicycle in about 20 years. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see what type of damage I just did. Uh, it will appear that everything seems to be fine. Yeah. Looks like everything's good. Turn that off. <laughs> Rednecks and technology. Woo, buddy. All right, guys. So, that was actually a lot of fun. I am, uh, I'm impressed. I really am. First e-bike I've ever tried. First e-bike I've ever owned. I did notice some things. Uh, the chain did not come uh, lubed, so I need to get some lubes on that. And also the sprockets and all that good stuff. They didn't come uh, lubed, it just came on the bike itself. So I do need to wash all this sand and stuff off. Get a good charge on the system. Dude freaking awesome so i mean i reached uh 24.8 on this sandy road out here sandy muddy road and also dealing with dogs yeah a lot of dogs in the neighborhood uh so yeah it, it can get I, I guarantee you can get up to 25 like it claims it can so i got to uh 24.8 in this sand and we just had a bad rainstorm so you just sink down in this mud but we're able to get through it. I did about dump myself in one of those puddles down there because the water level went up to here on the bike. Yeah, I shot at my feet and I about, I about bought it. So yeah, pretty cool. So anyway guys, uh, link is in the description. Make sure you use survival as your promo code, get $100 off. Guys, it's something to check out. We're gonna do some more videos on this because they have a attachment for this thing. A bike rack, a cargo rack, and what and also fenders. I found out out here in this mud having fenders on these wheels is gonna be great. So I'm gonna contact the company, get hold of something like that, put it on the bike, and do some more testing with that because in a bug out or get home bag situation, really a get home bag situation. Get home in your vehicle. We talk about bicycles. That thing's a lot of fun, it's fast. But what I want to do is spend some more testing on uh real world events. How much will a full battery give me? Okay. Now this type of terrain, I'm bogging it down, so that's gonna take in factors too. So I'm not really sure. Am I gonna get an hour, am I gonna get more? It just depends on your speed and stuff. So I'll be doing some more testing, guys. Keep an eye open for those type of videos. So I'm gonna get that, uh, that cargo rack and come up with some type of bug out or get home vehicle type of thing. I mean, we got EMP shield and stuff like that on our vehicles. But guys, something like that's pretty cool too, right? For VeloWave, awesome product, I like it. Uh, I don't have the front reflector on. Uh, I was wanting to ride this thing really quick. I did put the back reflector on. So check your local laws, guys, because sometimes you have to have a helmet, you have to have headlights and brake lights on your bicycles. So that includes electric e-bikes, okay? So make sure you check your local laws before you start riding around without anything on it because you might get a ticket without a helmet. I'm here in the back backwood area, so I'm not really too much worried about it. I'm not getting on the road with this thing. But if I needed to, I'd have to make sure it was state legal and everything else. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Spit you out later.